All right, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, so there's many different ways of flushing your engine using the uh, earmuffs or sticking in a bucket. You know, but most of these uh, newer motors have come with these flushing attachments, you know, where you can hook a hose up to it. And I've heard different ways of how to do it properly. And, and it really, I was kind of confused on really what's the best way. So I called Tohatsu and I asked to speak with their engineering department. And I actually got through their engineering department and spoke to an engineer. And he told me there's two ways of doing it. There's the one way of doing it with the hose where you do a cold flush and you just hook the hose up and you turn on your hose and you let it run for at least five minutes. And then the second method is the warm flush where you're going to hook the hose up and then you're going to turn on your water and you're going to start your engine and let it run for at least 10 minutes. Now the cold flush, you're going to get through you're going to flush out most of the water pump, the passages, but anything that's behind the uh, thermostat, you know, under the uh, cylinder heads and around the uh, cooling jackets, you're not going to get any of that flushed out unless you do a warm flush. And it takes at least eight minutes to 10 minutes to ensure that uh, that thermostat's going to open up and you're going to flush out those passages. So he told me a minimum of 10 minutes to run the engine uh, warm. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a cold flush really quick and do a warm flush and show you how it works out. I'm going to remove the hose fitting. And we're going to connect up our hose. And right now the engine is not running. So all we did is we screwed in our hose. And you know, you can get like an attachment. That's a short little attachment where you can screw it in and then you can hook your hose up to it to make it easier. I have one of those, but also just, it's just as easy just to screw the hose in directly. So doing the cold flush like this, uh, the engine's not running. The water is obviously running, and you can see where the water is coming out where it typically does. Right over there, you can see your normal uh, stream coming out of the engine as if it was running. So we're going through all the passages and the water pump and uh, up to the engine basically to the thermostat. So this is the cold flush. Let it run like this for however long you think you need to. The engineer told me a minimum of five minutes. Um, and they make, I've seen some other kits where you can add an attachment in, where you can put in like some soap or some other fluid to get salt out. You know, but to me, if you're gonna, if you really need to do that, you should probably do a warm flush. So anyway, I'm just gonna let this run for about five minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna disconnect it. And then we'll go ahead and do a warm flush. The cold flush. And now we're going to do the warm flush. Now you don't have to do both. Then you do one or the other, really. But I'm just showing you how to do both. So to do the warm flush, we have the water hooked up. We have it running. And it's imperative that when you start the engine now and let it run for the minimum of 10 minutes, that you don't rev it up. It has to idle. It's idle only. Um, the engineer told me bad things will happen if you rev up the engine, you can go more than idle RPM. So just set it to idle, let it run for at least 10 minutes, and uh, you'll get hot enough to be able to open that thermostat and clean those passages. So you figure if you've been in salt water or some really acidic water, maybe let it go 10 minutes to be sure it's open, and then let it go for like another five minutes. And just to make sure everything really gets flushed out good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine and I'll let it go for at least 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is up. It's definitely cleaned out and uh, it's ready to be put away. So I hope this helped out and apparently this is the right way to do it. So if anybody has any other opinions on this or heard anything different, I'd really like to hear it. Again, my information came from Tahatsu, so I'm hoping they're right. Uh, so far it seemed to be working out pretty good, but uh, yeah, let me know if there's any other ideas you guys have, suggestions, anything to make this easier, but it's pretty straightforward, it seems to me, so. Thanks for watching. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.